Alright. I think... I think we're about ready. Hello everyone, this... I should probably center myself a bit better here. Hello everyone, this is Laws, aka Cecile, pronouns she, her. And welcome to another... <clears throat> another edition of Fire Emblem um, for the NES. It's been a while since I last streamed this, so... Um, we might have to do a bit of prep work before moving into this next map. Although, this next map will be a, a bit of a repeat from our last Fire Emblem stream from like a thousand years ago. So, when we last left off, we attempted this map and we almost got through. It's just that we didn't bring any thieves in, so we couldn't open up any any doors, open up any treasure chests. Um, it was, and then we got nuked by the by the boss who has pretty strong magic, strong enough to kill our dragon here. It's really, really quite unfortunate. We're going to try to make sure that whatever happened then doesn't happen now, though. So. Let's see. Now, we are going to need to take a couple of these, these thieves right here. Um. What else? Uh, we're gonna have a paladin and a few of our allies over here, and they're gonna come unequipped. I'd like to perhaps pass down equipment from one of my social knights to this paladin because I do anticipate using her a little more than some of my other some of my other um, hor horsey units <laughs> cavaliers I get the I get just this weirdest the weirdest feeling that I call them social knights when they're not called that in English releases. <laughs> okay. Now that we brought our thieves along this time. And I really wish we could, like, arrange units before starting a map like we could in the, the Game Boy Advance games. Okay, and we can't skip cutscenes. Anyway, these are the... Anyway, these are going to be our new units. Um, and we're going to have to do a little st strategizing to... to keep them healthy and alive and all that. That's mostly going to involve sticking our armored dudes around where the around where the arrow guys are. Sticking our bishop where the magic caster is. And then keeping the archer, Tomas, and Midia the Paladin out of harm's way. So with that out of the way, 
I really don't know why they put... I guess these thieves are really just, like, red herrings. They don't have any... any keys to unlock any of the doors. And... being unable to lock... unlock any doors... they can't get any of the treasure chests, so... They're pretty moot, as they... right where they are. Um... But they are... They are kind of free experience for my... weaker units, though. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and park... my clerics right next to them. See if they take the bait. If I can get the thieves to attack the clerics, then... Okay, yeah, she can't use a rapier. If I can get the thieves to attack my clerics, they'll be able to get experience points. Because in this game, you can't really get experience points unless you're... Three, four, five... You can't really get experience points for your clerics unless they're, they get attacked. That's... Them's the brakes, kid. Anyways, let's go ahead and also move up. Our thieves kind of close-ish. Closest to the front lines. <clears throat> Sword. Pshaw. Okay, and then Bantu should be fine right here. Fine right there. There aren't any archers over here. Nope, no archers over here. So let's go ahead and move Kata over here. And that should be it. that um, spear because swords don't do much damage against against the armored folk. As Marth so elegantly displays here. Okay, so, it looks like the thieves didn't really take the bait, 
Which, I guess... I mean, no, it's not really fine. I mean, I kind of don't want to send eight, any units back there to take care of those thieves, because that's just kind of wasting time here. Um, what I can probably do, though, is have... Linda over here and attack with a blizzard. I'm gonna go ahead and have Merrick over here handing over the oh. Linda, her inventory is pretty full, so I can't give her the energy ring. Maybe someone else can use it, though. Hmm. No one in the immediate vicinity, in any case. Minerva, though, she could probably, I don't know, chuck a javelin at this dude. Mm. Not quite as effective as I thought it'd be, but... I mean... Shit just happens sometimes. This guy's pretty good at dodging. <sighs> that much trouble, I guess I am just gonna have to have... Oh wait, what is... Kata packing? That Silver Lance might actually be able to... do the dude in. so Marth can properly rush in. I stand corrected. Dang. Silver Lances only do three damage to this dude. That's, that's kind of crazy. I think. Anyway, let's go ahead and have the horsey man charge in. Um, Bantu. <clears throat> Bantu can roast this dude. It's gonna be a bit of overkill, but. Ain't no kill like overkill. As they say. the end of that, then. Let's see what happens next. Arrow attacks continue to be completely ineffective.
That bishop's not gonna last for very long, though. So... What are you packing again? You're packing entirely too much. Mm. So let's see here. They both have lockpicks. So, let's go ahead and have Kane. That's probably not the smartest thing to do. The uh, armor dude might move out of the way and give the archers cause to attack Minerva. And that... That wouldn't be very nice. If I don't get there in time, though, Boa is going to expire here pretty soon. It's not going to be... It's not going to be pretty. Um, we find six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So. The safest place to put Julian is right there. Rickard. Ricard. I'm gonna go ahead and put Martha over here in preparation for those mages that are on their way to, to wreck some shit. Rickard can go ahead and open up this door. Clerics up. And then Kata can sit right here. And well that's it for actually let's go ahead and turn off those animations because I, mean, I really want to get through this map as soon as possible. So, let's just get right to it. I didn't think the armor dude would, dude would so quickly attack. That's a bit, it's a bit worrying. Hope you guys on stream are watching the VOD are having a pretty good time. I know this particular episode isn't like super eventful or anything, but hopefully we'll be able to move on to some newer territory here pretty soon. It's really just a matter of Killing the right dudes. And store the thunder. Might be able to give 
that to someone else later. I wonder, can Minerva... Go ahead and kill this archer dude. I mean, she probably can, but then there's another archer dude to, t to contend with, and that's probably going to be a bit of a contentious issue. Um, what are you packing? A steel sword? That's not... That's not too particularly bothersome. I could probably park Bantu over here. And then... Merrick can go here. And Lind there. Marth right there for now, and then the clerks can move up. Hmm. How far can you move? Five. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see. Moving five, one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, he's probably going to be victim to both Archer and Armor Dude. Bit dicey. Here, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little risky here. Oh wait, 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 what is, what is this guy packing? Steel sword. Maybe that wouldn't be a... a great idea. Ah, uh, what the hell. She's not going to be able to kill him, but he probably won't be moving any, so those archers won't be able to get that, that Minerva there. Oh, I might be able to just park a thief right there, and end my turn. Kane's really, really wrecking chop there. Go ahead and take care of these. E. E. 
Man, that kind of hurt. Okay, that... Not too bad, not too bad. Let's go ahead and have Linda throw an aura his way. Damn, Linda! You scary. Marth, you can go ahead and finish this guy off with that. Da -da 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 -da. Let's give him the rapier. Elf fire. Let's go ahead and drop. Store it. Store it, I mean. <laughs> Not gonna drop anything just yet. your vulnerary kids. Then Julian can go in and unlock the door. Okay, something there. I'll leave them there, actually. <clears throat> I'll leave Midia right there. Boa stays there, doesn't really matter. Um, Somas. I'll have him right there, and then I'll have Julian next turn give, give him the silver arrows. Rickard. Ricard. I'm gonna have him steal the... Yummy, yummy loot. And then the clerics move forward. Okay, that's it. We're done there. That hurt. So Kane, you did you done it good, but we're gonna give Midi a bunch of stuff. Sorry, Kane, but I think Midi is going to be <clears throat> replacing you from now on. Nothing personal or anything. She's just awesome. Okay. Um... Tomas, how far can you go? I'll have you go down over here. Julian can run right ahead of you. And 
give you that silver bow that I'm sure you're going to be able to use a lot better than than Julian. Bantu, he's going to want to go where Marth is right now. I know the mana cat, he's gonna start moving up when he when I'm in range. And one, two, wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that pillar is about where is about where um, the mana cat's range is. So I'm gonna wanna lure his draw in his attack and then counter with some Mage magic. Rickard, you can go ahead and open up some treasure chests. That is acceptable. Ooh, an Orion. Or Orion, rather. Um, that's going to be useful for promoting my archer units. Of which I only have Tomas and Gordon at the moment. And since I think Tomas is the higher level of the two, I, he might be my primary archer from now on. I mean, as the game progresses, I'm really not going to have the time to try to equally level up every unit. Some of them I'm really just going to have to bench, like, there's just no way around that. Oh, now the thieves start making their move. Lena stay here. I'm gonna have Ricard. Hmm. I'm actually gonna have Tomas head towards Ricard so he can pick up the Orion. money. Not feeling too good about moving up my other units, though. Like, that's probably not something I'm going to want to do right now. But Maria, she's going to be Useful in healing up her her sister over here, who is not looking too good. Linda, you can move a bit up. Let's go ahead and pop a vulnerary. Surely that that mana cat's not going to be able to do more than 30 damage a turn. Surely. And then Midia can go ahead and finish up this guy. Julian, though, I'm going to go ahead and move him up, too, because there's a treasure chest at the 
very far end over here that's going to need to be taken care of. So not quite as hard-hitting as I thought it would be, but still pretty hard-hitting. <sighs> Alright. Let's see what my other units can do before I can... before I whip out the... I've got 11 sword. I don't need to get up and close up close and personal here. Yeah, that's the way. And then let's have Linda over here. Aura, Blizzard, Thunder. Dragon types are weak to Ice type. Right? Yeah, that's right. And then she's finally on level 2. That's sort of the Vulnery. Uh, Merrick. Keep you close by. Oh boy. Maria, go ahead and heal up. Marth here. Gonna have Midia join the front lines. Tomas. I wish Tomas could be a little bit quicker. Then I'm gonna put you right over here. Julian! You're good right here. And then Martha. You're right here. Kata, right here. And I think, oh, no, wait, let's go ahead and get another treasure chest while we're here. Got the arms ring. That sniper with the silver arrow might be a bit of a problem. Long range and hella deadly. Seven, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, six, seven. <sighs> okay, so I can't really move in my flying units just yet. Not with that archer in the way. So I might just have... 
I just have to move in the mages. And then have Bantu out in the open so that the sniper can attack Bantu. Hopefully that silver arrow isn't going to do too much damage. Tomas, you're gonna go over here. And then Ricard, you're gonna go right over here. And I'm gonna give you the Orion Seal. I think it's called the Orion's Bolt in the original Japanese version, but since there isn't enough room for that. Six, seven, yeah, they they just had to shorten it down to just Orion, which is fine. I mean, it's what, if that's what they have room for, that's what they have room for. Just kind of how the way things are sometimes. Gotta make sure these flying art and units aren't like in range of the archer dude. Julian, you're going over here. Yeah, you're going next to Julian. Yeah, I think that about takes care of that. I put Lena over here. Will the thieves start attacking her to get to the treasure chest? Probably not, but I mean it's worth a shot, I guess. If I can lure the sniper away, I can go ahead and have Tomas take pot shots at this particular cleric right here. Oh, sorry. Um, now I'm gonna see. I'm gonna want the sniper close enough to where I can immediately counter with my other units. So. Six, seven. If I, if I, right here, are they going to? They're going to move into attack if I put them right there. Be a little too far away. <laughs> okay, go ahead and put Minerva and Kata over here. Have Merrick and Linda over here. Marth's probably fine where he is. No, Julian's gonna want to be right here. And Maria over here. Ye 
Yep, I think that about does it for that turn. That's a bit disappointing. Hmm. What if I were to move him right here, though? Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, old bots. I'm gonna have to put Marth in direct contact again, it seems like. It's not going to be able to do anything until these dudes are are dead. Yeah, that's probably not a worthwhile pursuit. Unless I'm absolutely certain that Marth can go in and take the kill. Which I am not sure he can do. Not quite yet, at least. The thieves don't seem to be moving up any. So... Your strength seven and defense eight. Strength is eight. Hmm. Yeah, I'm not entirely sure that. Tomas is going to be able to take on that sniper, even if I send in a, a mage to back him up. Let's go ahead and end this turn, see what comes out of it. Ah, oh, see, now he starts to go after Bantu. just as well, because now I can have Tomas go ahead and snipe this fool. So now... Let's have Kada and all the rest rush down this Archer. Oh, let, let's have her use a javelin. Kada, Minerva, and Midia. Last time I had him go up against 
the mage over there. Well, the bishop over there. Things didn't end too well for him. Not too well at all. Yeah, probably not the... Well, let's go ahead and have Ricard open up this chest, though. Then once Tomas takes out one of those... those healers. Then we'll have Marth go in and deliver the coup de gras. Delicious. Okay, 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 um... Let's go ahead and have Marth use... let's see... Wipe your kill armor... Hmm. Let's do a rapier. Sure can, huh? Let's have... Actually, let's have Minerva over here. Tossing some javelins at this... That dude. For that lovely... Lovely experience point. Pointage. 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 and Julian to clear out those Cavaliers and that Paladin. Close Marth, so close. Bit of a bummer that, but hey. Marth will prevail, I'm sure. Minerva, just keep chucking them javelins, I guess. Uh, 
iron, silver, iron. Alright. Linda. Linda, you go over here. How much, how much HP are we talking over here? Eleven. Maybe a thunder. Probably won't kill him, but... Nope, I forgot. Linda's a badass. <laughs> that might not be very good for Tomas there. I'll keep him over here for now, though. Rickard, go ahead and open up this chest. Got me a lockpick. Store that shit. Alright. You know what, Keda? You're not doing much of anything right there. Let's go ahead and have you over here for the... Ah, for the attack force over there. That's it. That's what I got the killer sword for. And yeah, let's store the Bulgan. Then. So, I could just kind of end things right here and now. Sit on the throne. And all that. But no, we gotta... We're not quite done yet here. What level? Paladin? Heimler. Heimler. Hmm. Hold up. I'm just looking up stuff. Just looking up stuff. Okay, yeah, Heimler is not hireable. So. No, Jetstorm, it is not time for Mystery of the Emblem. Mystery of the Emblem is after this game, I'll have you know. It is time for Shadow Dragon. It is not time for Mystery of the Emblem. Anyway, how's it going? <laughs> Sorry for being a pedantic ass, but that's... <laughs> Mystery, I guess, really was the friends we made along the way. Ooh, I feel like this might be a bad idea. No, actually, this is turning out to be a very good idea. 
would have thunk it. Where to go, Midia? And she got a night thing. Store it so we can promote someone else in the future, perhaps later. And then Bantu. Bantu, you're going here. Kata. an armory. I don't know what... She's not going to be able to buy anything, though. She, She's already overburdened. But she can get use out of this rider spear. Like that. Oh, shit. Was not expecting that at all. Was also not expecting the thieves to be a bit... <sighs> Perform. <laughs> uh. Huh. This took a turn. Certainly wasn't expecting it. Thank goodness Lena has a Vulnery on hand. The Vulnery might actually might not actually be necessary, though. Depending on how this goes. <sighs> Turns out, not as great as I'd like. Can I park Marth? I guess I can park Marth right here. That's probably not a big deal. Tomas, you're going over here. Ricard, you're going over here. Lena. I mean, hopefully they don't attack Lena again. That'd be really crappy if they attacked Lena again. Because I don't know if she's going to be able to survive another attack. I mean, it's not like I can drop a save state or anything. I mean, that'd be kind of ridiculous. Yeah. Yeah, that's, um... These are cylinders. <laughs> I mean, cylinders. These are, these are pillars. They up evasion if you get to sit on them. That's how terrain works.
Damn, Marthy's already dead. <sighs> Level 7, Lena, you're on your way. Also, if the thieves are able to do that much damage to you, then... Man, we... Clerics really need to catch up then. Treasure chest either. God damn it. Of course that thief's gonna be able to outrun Lena. Ah shit, this isn't good. <laughs> Oh, no, 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 you need to break out the safe state just yet. I mean, we may have lost one of, I think, the two thieves this game gives you, but, I mean... We still got it. We still got it. Okay, though, I got an Excalibur. Where'd I go, Merrick? And Julia needs to hurry up and open that treasure chest. Card. Why'd you have to die? The guy was carrying a warp staff? What the heck? That's. I didn't know you, the game gave you another warp staff, honestly. Got the boots. Got them boots. The... Thanks, Prince Marth. I was able to return to Pales because of you. This bow's card called Parthia. It's one of my family's legendary items. The other two, the Mercurius and the the Gradivus, the Gradivus, seem to be taken by the enemy. With these bat with these battles become easier. 
Yeah, let's just store it. Yeah, I thought it was the Gradius, and that's what it's called in... The, the Gradius. And that's what it's called in the original Japanese version, but... Like, this fan translation uses... Um, the official names from the American um, Shadow Dragon DS game. Which, I know they... For the American localization, they changed a few names for... No, no, it it's seri it is seriously called the Gradius in in the Japanese version. <laughs> so let's go ahead and save the game. Rest in peace, record. You will be missed. Oh man, what do we got here? Bunch of ballistas. Oh, Midia knows this. Knows this dude. Maybe she can talk some sense into him. Ooh, he's got a pachyderm. Okay. Some thieves here. It seems to be a pretty pretty straightforward map. A whole bunch of of these ballistas though. They move very far. But I'm gonna need to get someone into that... Into that village before the thieves get to him. So... That being said... Since we're mostly dealing with ballistas, flying units probably aren't going to be very optimal here. Goodness, ugh. King doesn't have any equipment, so no need to bring him. using Boa all that much at all. Um, Mabel and Harden, though, yeah, I'll go ahead and take them. Um, Agma and Caesar, sure, why not? Ooh, 
Linda, why not? You know, yeah, let's go ahead and take Kata and Minerva. They might be of some use. Okay, let's go. As Marth's army rushes to Altea, many Gristian soldiers block Marth's path. The dreaded Wooden Cavalry Division, Gristian soldiers who use Ballistae to fight. While creating noise, Ballistae start to approach. Can Marth preser preserve? I think they mean persevere. Preserve. Can Marth preserve? I mean, I could probably teach Marth how to preserve. If, if we're talking like fruit preserves. Oh, this is what, like, this is that terrain where you can only go, like, in one direction. That's... Whew, okay. What is your movement here? Four. 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 Ah, uh, four. So I'm gonna want Midia. Okay, so you can't go through there. There's gotta be some way into that village. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and have Marth go up here. And then have Midia head down here. Harden close by. How close do I want him though? Yeah, this this should be sufficient. With a steel sword. Bantu. Right here. Oh, my over here. Okay, I can't give him anything just yet. Bit unfortunate there. Armor, sword, okay. That's what he's packing. Kata, you're gonna go right here. Abel, gonna have, gonna have him right here. I'm gonna have you right over here. I'm gonna have you give a javelin to Abel here. Linda, you're going over here. 
and Tomas. Ah, screw it, Tomas, you're going right over here. Or, no, no, you're going right over here. Yeah, that... I forgot all about, forgot all about these guys. Huh. Traug, you're going here. Gordon. It's kind of men's staff. Okay. You're probably going to be sticking close to Drab there, and Caesar. Have you right over here. And that's it. Let's see what happens next. Watching a bunch of slow moving ballistas move kind of slowly. Because that's what them ballistas, that's what they do. damage can this can you all do to them? Okay, okay. And then if I were to have Tomasco over here and I don't know, shooting a silver arrow at him. Oh shit, that kinda hurt. There. Hmm. Not gonna lie, I'm I'm not liking where that's going. Oh, he didn't get any experience points. That's... That's kind of bunk. Man, these... Ballistas, they are kind of... Kind of hardy. Really not a fan of this sort of durability. Gonna park. Wait. Gonna park Minerva over here. Hopefully nothing bad happens. Kata might be able to actually help out a bit if I put her over here.
Attack with 11 against this guy. It's pretty good. And I'll put Merrick over here. Alright, where does this take us now? Those boys hit kind of hardish. Let's see here. One, two, three, four. How far can you move? Seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Astrum, is that you? Idia, so you are safe. I wanted to see you. If you weren't informed, the Altean army liberated Pales. Every hostage survived. Right now, I fight for them, so you don't have to work with the enemy. That's good. Now I can fight against Dolor. Yes, we'll stay together. I won't leave you ever again. Media, you become so... Huh? What? Haha, <laughs> you become so womanly. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Oh, I forgot, that's the... Shit, that's the Ballista that has all that HP. Shit. Okay, um... Gonna hit you with a. How does an armor strike you? Not a damn thing. Okay, sure. Um, silver. Okay. Yeah, go ahead and drink a Vulnery. Silver. 
Okay, that worked out really fine. Okay, so there doesn't seem to be really any enemies there. As it turns out. Okay. Oh, that's... Ooh, that's not great. even worse. This country fought alongside Arcania, but General Camus broke our defense and Gruss took us over. Hmm. Might be encountering this Camus character later in the game. teammate doing too hot here and that's really not helping so Marth can finally finally visit this village and Prince Marth, I'm Beck, a soldier of Dale. I escaped the fighting and hid here. I'm willing to fight for you. With this thunder, I'll fight. Sounds like this guy wants to fight.
What did I think that would work? Aha! Uh -huh. Now that these ballistas are trapped, they're not going to be able to attack anyone. Brilliant. Bottom unit's not doing too well. Hopefully, hopefully no one dies. Ogma. I'm gonna move Ogma over here, actually. And have him loving the shit out of that. Okay, cool. Um, are you... You're kidding me. So... The ballista can't move through this rocky terrain, but he's surrounded by fucking rocky terrain. Yeah, that kind of limits his usefulness by, a, like, a lot. Uh, whatever game. Anyway. Gordon's running away. the silver stick.
Oh boy. This map is looking to be a bit more difficult than I thought it'd be. Oh no, Caesar, no! Uh, well, one thief and one mercenary so far. It's been pretty rough, all things considered. What was this chapter and, um, the last chapter that all the loss of life happened? Kind of not... Oh, um... What... What chapter is this? Uh, this is chapter 13. Okay, let's see. 13 of 25, yep. Say hi, Mo. Thank you. 
Honestly, I wasn't sure where that was going. <sighs> well, shit. <laughs> yes, Mo, say hi. Say hi to the camera. Yeah. He's licking himself and his posse just seems to be in front of the camera. Say hi, Mo. Hi, Mo, Mo. That's Mo. That's the Mo. Anyway, um. <sighs> yeah, this the baby Mo. He's the baby. Oh, yes. You like the camera? Don't eat the camera, baby. Okay, um, so that sucked. Anyway, um, I'm gonna, we're gonna try that map again tomorrow. Not tomorrow, um, I have therapy tomorrow. We're gonna try that map again on Thursday because fuck this. This is awful. Um, but... Hopefully, we know now that ballistas are... They, they, they hurt a lot, and they got a lot of... A lot of armor. So, yeah. Um, this has been Zalaz, a.k.a. Cecile. Um, and we'll try again next time. See ya!